<clears throat> I think uh, Temple showed you why they're the best team in our league. Knowing what we scouted them and prepared for them, <clears throat> you watch them play. Um, I don't know that they're they do anything great. You know, we watched them beat Connecticut twice. Connecticut was up 12 with five minutes to go. He said, "How did Temple win that game?" You know, Tulsa was up uh, 13, I think, with six minutes to go. But they make timely threes, <clears throat> and they don't beat themselves. They don't turn it over. They make their free throws. They're just very solid. Now, the first time we beat them, that's what we did. We beat them. They didn't have a chance. <clears throat> they didn't have a chance in that game. We just beat them. But tonight, it was just two good teams. I mean, those were two really good teams. They came out and, and uh, staggered us early. Uh, I think they went up on 13. Then, you know, during the timeouts, we just, I thought we were in a hurry. You know, it's okay to play fast, but don't be in a hurry. Um, but then we got settled down and got the ball moving a little bit. Um, cut it to five at halftime. And then, <clears throat> then we talked about, you know, playing to the third side. Then the ball really moved well the first 10 minutes. I think that's when we went from uh, down five to up 10. So we were up, I think we were up uh, plus 15 in 10 minutes. Um, but, you know, it's, you know, they banked, they banked in a three there, and the next, you know, another kid drove across the lane and banked in a, a, a shot. Um, and, and I don't mean that saying those were lucky shots. That's the way Temple plays. You know, they, they make plays. They do whatever it takes. And they're, they're just a good team. You know, I think um, um, they took advantage of some um, matchups. Uh, on us. I thought Doc did a great job on Dakosi, who, who was a really hard cover. Uh, really, the only guy that hurt us, hurt us was uh, uh, the Enchinoya kid. Uh, he made some tough threes. You know, he's made a couple of them, you know, three or four feet behind the line. We got, got out and contested them. Um, but he made them. But that's what they do. That's how they beat Connecticut. That's how they beat Cincinnati twice. They beat Connecticut twice, Cincinnati twice. It was almost a carbon copy. That game was almost a carbon copy of how they won all those games, you know. And um, so give them credit. I thought our, I was proud of our kids' effort. I was proud of the way we came back and battled. Wouldn't have expected anything less. Uh, but like they didn't hurt themselves. They didn't beat themselves. You know, we had a couple of turnovers down the stretch. You got to get the ball to the rim. You know, the ball's got to get to the rim. You got to give the referee a chance to blow the whistle. And that's why we play a certain way sometimes, is to get the ball on the paint and drive it and get to the free throw line. Uh, Devontae went to the free throw line 11 times. Rob went to the ball, uh, free throw line six times. Um, we needed to go a few more times. Questions, please. So that last three-pointer looked like they were going to um, you know, they want That's where they wanted to go, but then they kicked it back out to the other kid. Yeah. Well, that kid made seven. That's how they beat SMU. That same kid made seven, he was seven for seven um, um, against SMU when they beat him. Um, so he, he's a good shooter. They don't have anybody that can't make a three. And, and, they're, and they're, um, their stats really don't tell the story. You know, those are, those are uh, most of those kids are Philly kids. They're just, they're a lot of savvy. They're older. They've been around, they've been together for a long time. Um, Tocosi, Brown, Coleman, you know, it's just a solid team. That's, so I was proud of my team. I mean, it's a game I felt like we could win. Um, we probably played good enough to win. You know, but they, they made the plays down the stretch and we did it. Simple as that. There were no, uh, no timeouts there for you at the end. Uh, just the I don't think we, I, I, if I'd have called timeout, couldn't have got a better shot. You know, I don't get a better shot than that. I, I'm almost glad I didn't have a timeout because that would allow him to get his set. And if you're going to look for a three, it's better to get one in transition when they don't have a chance to switch. Because what would happen, he would, he would substitute and take his bigs out and put his littles in knowing we had to take a three. So every time you set a screen, you're going to have to switch. Now, Rob got a clean look. I, I couldn't have uh, asked for a better look. Just missed him. They made their threes when it counted, and we didn't. But again, that's a good team. But so is Houston. We have a good team too. How tough is it to kind of lose this game where you know you guys were up by ten in the second half? Yeah. And you, you, like you said, you guys 
Probably yeah. Everyone's saying. Yeah, but you, you know, uh, well, it's hard. It's not easy. You know, it's not easy. That's a that's a tough one to lose. But you you watch this. You know, Temple's. Um, it's how they beat you. You know, I'm sure that somebody was sitting in a uh, press conference just like you looking through that lens asking Frank Hayden the same question and Kevin Ollie and Larry Brown. Because all those teams were up. They just, they don't beat themselves. Very disciplined, tough. Um, I have a lot of respect for their team. But I have a lot of respect for my team too. I, I really like my team. I just, we have a good team. Those, that was the number one team in the conference playing against a team that had they won would have been a half a game out. Not a lot of difference in those two teams, really. It was just two good teams, good basketball game. Dad, I think you guys missed the last nine shots of the first half, and then you come out in the second half, and completely different, um, like Coach was saying earlier, just changes, you know, adjustments, you know, you guys kind of um, get things going. Yeah, um, yeah, like Coach said, the ball in the moment, you take, um, you got open shots and knock them down to start the half off for the first 10 minutes. Um, um, I just felt like that, that was that was the issue. The ball was moving, just getting good shots, everybody playing on selfish. Coach, do you think were you guys forcing tempo first ten minutes of the second half as opposed to the last ten minutes? We were trying to force tempo, but um, that's a good team. <clears throat> now understand this about basketball, it's a lot easier to slow a team down than just to speed them up. You know, to speed a team up you have to start by getting stops. You know, that that's our, our the first ten minutes the ball moved. But our defense was outstanding. I mean, we were really good defensively the first 10 minutes because all of our baskets almost were in transition, which is where we're good. Now, the last 10 minutes, they were at the free throw line. Uh, they scored. I mean, they were scoring some hard shots. Let's face it. You know, when uh, you draw, try to draw a foul and just throw it up there and it goes bank, and it banks in, you know, but we've got to take the ball in balance. That's three points. Now, he misses that. We go down and score. That's a you know, five or six point play. Uh, and all those count close in a close ball game. But um, um, they were making they were making baskets. You know, when they were making baskets, it takes us out of our transition game. So, but give them credit. They, they made the, the shots that uh, counted. Um, but, you know, the first 10 minutes at both ends of the floor, I thought we were outstanding. But um, we just didn't make enough uh, baskets down the stretch. We need another stop. We need to get a stop when we when we uh, when they got it down to two. We needed a stop. You know, then we're up the way. Then and then Chaloya goes down and hits that long three at the top of the key. It's a big shot. But you know what? Give him credit. Give him a good game. So even in their loss, do you you know by no means is this over where you have three more regular season and the tournament where. You look at your team, and I don't think you guys have been out of any game in conference or regular season all, all year in terms of competing. Do you still look at this team as you, know, you guys are still playing well at, at this time of year? Absolutely. No, I, sometimes I say things to remind people that we, we have a good team. This is a good Houston basketball team. I'm not interested in you know, I wasn't here a long time ago, 10 years ago or 5 years ago, but I, I've coached enough good teams to know what one looks like. Um, you know, are we a complete team? No. Um, you know, we don't have a, you know, a guy like a Jalen Bond or something like that. But you know, you, you look at our one, two, threes, and fours. You know, I think we match up with just about anybody in the league. You know, we're, you know, we need a couple more recruiting classes. We've had one, not two, one. Don't don't count the first one. We've had one recruiting class, so uh, we're gonna get better as we go. But I I I, I love this team. You know. Um, we haven't played a game yet that we couldn't have won. Connecticut at home, South Florida at home, at SMU. Um, Cincinnati was a three-point game with five to go. We weren't in, in in the last minute or two, obviously. But no, we we there's no game we played that we haven't had a chance to win. Tulsa game, let me, let me take that back. We were the Tulsa game there that, that we weren't in that one. Anything else? Coach, um, uh, Devontae had 19. Damien had 20. Uh, Rob had 20. Um, that's 59 points between your top three players. What are you going to do to get the, the rest of your team involved so that you can't win those close games? Well, shoot is not an equal opportunity position. You know what that means? 
If you can't shoot, you don't get to. Those three guys are our best scorers. Just like, uh, um, I guess if you were talking to Temple, you'd want to know why the other nine guys I'm scoring. Because I had one guy score 26. I, I'm not worried about that. Mm -hmm. You know, every game is different in its own self. You know, Chicken had 20 against LSU. Um, he had a tough matchup tonight. You know, it's not this wasn't an easy game for him um, <clears throat> because that's they're, they're a really good defensive team. You know, it's not Galen and Ronnie's job to lead us in, in uh, scoring. Uh, Galen had five five assists tonight. You know, he, he was 0 for 4, but all four shots he took were shots he could make. You know, you know, probably if, if I had to draw up a perfect night for Galen and or Ronnie, I'd say that was six or eight points. Uh, Four or five, five or six assists. Um, uh, who else? Um, LeBron, not really a score. Burke's not a score. So I don't know if I, I'm too worried about that. It's a good question, though. Coach, you, you've mentioned all season about the growth of this team. Games like these is another part of that learning process. How much better uh, is there a plateau or an elevation or a mountaintop that you are looking forward to, or just as the process goes? So goes the team. No, um, no, that's a good question. We're we're um, we're taking as they come. You know, we, we felt like this was a game we needed to play well in. Um, just like you know, when we beat Tulsa here or beat SMU here, you know, whoever, whoever the other team, LSU, we got to play good. Um, we didn't play good today. You know, it's not one of our better games. But let's give Temple some credit. They had a lot to do with that. You have time for one more question. Yeah. Anybody? All right. Thank you very much, Scott.